Yo, what's up guys? If you already know me, nice to see you again. If you don't, welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be running up part two of the zero to $1,000 drop servicing challenge. Now, before we get going, definitely go and check out episode one of the challenge so you know exactly where we're up to. I'll put a link up there. So if you haven't seen it yet, you can go and watch it and then come back here. But to summarize what we've already done, last episode, we found the service that we want to sell, which is an ebook mock-up bundle for people who sell programs and courses. The dog took a shit on the floor. I hate my dog. And we also created our Kartra account which we will use today to build the sales funnel. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Yo guys, we're ready to jump in. Oh, thank you. So thank you, thank you. Alrighty, I'm sitting here at the hustle bench, ready to get cracking on the challenge. Let's get it. All right, guys, so we're in our Kartra account. This is where we got up to last episode. So we added the basic info of the product and we've done the pricing. I've actually made a bit of a change to the pricing. So now we've actually got three tiers of the bundle. So we've got the starter kit, which is going to be one mock-up, the mini bundle, which is probably going to be two or three, and then the full professional, which is going to be everything that the Fiverr seller offers. So obviously we're going to make a lot more money on the full bundles. So we're going to do as much as we can within the funnel to try and prioritize those. All right, so to jog your memory, this is what we were selling. It's like a 3D ebook mock-up bundle, perfect for our boys, Grant Cardone and Ty Lopez, who love the funnels. This is just their sweet cup of tea. All right, let's head back to Kartra and actually start building this sales funnel. What Kartra does, which is actually a really good feature, is it gives you numerous checkouts which you can choose, which you don't have to edit. So these have obviously been really thoroughly tested and made to convert as best as possible. So we're just gonna go ahead and use one of these for the best results. So yes, we'll keep that as Kartra hosted checkout page. So what we're gonna do now is actually go ahead and add our own logo, just to add a bit of a sense of professionalism to the website. I've been dropshipping for two years and every time I didn't use a logo in my checkout page, I saw a big drop in conversion rate. So having your own logo is definitely super important, especially in something like this. So let's actually go ahead and create one right now. So this is gonna be something that course sellers are using. So I was thinking maybe something like Course Kings. Let's go ahead and check if that domain is available. CourseKings.com is taken. Okay. Mockup Kings. Mockupkings.com is available. I think that's actually quite good, so we might just buy that. Okay, so now I need to make a logo for mockupkings.com. So I reckon I'm gonna keep it simple and just do a basic text logo. And we'll change that to yes, display my own branding logo and we'll go ahead and upload what we just created. All right, that's now imported into there. That actually looks pretty good, so we'll save that. First name, last name, email, country and state. That's pretty standard. We're gonna go ahead and leave that as is. Cart abandonment tagging. Okay, this is actually pretty powerful because it means if someone abandons their cart, which means they add the product to cart and then leave, they're gonna be tagged so that we can market them later in email marketing. For example, if someone adds our mid-tier mock-up bundle to cart, they go through the checkout process, add all their details in, but then they never actually pay, their name and email will be tagged so that I can follow them up later and try and capture that sale. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this on because this is quite powerful. So we're gonna add the multi price point, no category in particular. We're gonna add the tag name, abandoned cart, no category in particular, uh, no expiration date. All right, so let's go ahead and add that. No, we're gonna leave this as is. We're gonna leave all this as is. So what this part is, is the accessing your product content. So this is what the customer will receive once they complete an order. So for our service in particular, it might be a little bit different for you, but we don't have a Kartra membership, a downloadable file means that if a customer places the order, they're going to get an email straight away with the product. So for example, if you were selling an ebook or something like that, this is what you would choose. But because we're selling a mock-up bundle and the seller has to actually go ahead and create it, we're going to click no access page because when the seller completes it, we'll send it to them ourselves. And advanced automations, we're going to leave that off because we don't really need that. Save and next. We're not going to have an affiliate program on sale either or an affiliate program opt-in. Maybe in the future, I might add an affiliate program to this website so that you guys can actually sell this service and make all the money yourself. So let me know in the comment down below if you think that's a good idea. So save and next. Congratulations, your product has been configured. Let's go! So now we're gonna go ahead and actually create a thank you page. So when the customer places an order with our website, the thank you page is where they get taken to next. So let's go ahead and do that now. For this, we're gonna go into my forms. So we're gonna add a new form and we're gonna call this the mock-up bundle. Okay, so this is the default form field that they give you, which is just first name and email address. And because we're selling something where the customer has to actually choose what they want, we're gonna need to add a few more fields than this. Okay, so within Kartra, you can't actually add an image upload form into the custom forms. 
So because we're selling something that needs to be mocked up, we're gonna need images from the customer. So for that, I've gone ahead and made a field default text that says, upon placing order, you'll receive an email in which you can upload your images slash logo to use for the mock-up bundle. So because we can't use images, that's our best option. So we're gonna go ahead and call this image email and click save. Single opt-in is fine. Success page we will configure later. And we're not gonna send any welcome message. I don't really think that's super necessary. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that. We're gonna leave all this blank for now because it's sort of advanced and we don't really need it right now. We are gonna use the Kartra ecosystem for our whole website. So if you were using something else, you would click this. But for now in this challenge, we're just gonna use Kartra for everything. So we'll keep that there. Congratulations. Let's go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is create the thank you page, which is what the customer sees after they place an order, which is where they can put all their info in. So all we need to do now is click on pages and click on plus page. So Kartra is amazing and they already have pre-made thank you pages ready for us. So we're gonna use one of these. I think this one looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and select this one. So for our logo, let's upload what we just created in Photoshop. Select that and apply. I'm gonna go ahead and edit the rest of this page and I'll check back in with you when I'm done. One eternity later. Hip hip hooray. It's the next day. Let's finish this off. All right guys, so as you can see, we've finished building the thank you page for the sales funnel. So what this is, is what the customer will see after they place an order. So we've got our logo that looks good there. We've got the thank you for registering box with the input for name, email, title and brief description of the ebook. So the customer is gonna write in that box what they want from the service. So that's gonna be quite helpful for them. And then after that, we've got how they're gonna upload the images because you can't upload images directly in Kartra. So this is the next best way to do it. So now that we've got the thank you page out of the way, it's time to get into the good stuff and build the actual sales funnel, which is what the customer is gonna see when they visit the website. Let's do that now. So we're gonna go ahead and click my pages and we're gonna click create new page. So so within this menu, Kartra actually gives you a lot of templates which you can work from. So in this example, we are going to use a template. So let's go ahead and find which one we want to use. Usually we're going to want to click long sales page as the product that we're selling is at a premium price point. So we want to give the customer as much information as possible. So let's look through these and see if we like any. Okay, this one looks pretty cool. I think we're going to try this one out. So we'll select that and launch builder. We'll call this page the mock-up bundle sales funnel. All right, guys. So what I think I'm going to do now is go through this funnel builder, add all my own images and graphics and get back to you in a bit. All right, guys, it's been a couple hours and I've finished creating the sales funnel. So let's jump in and take a look. We start off with our logo here, quite basic. And we've got the default menu up here, which looks quite nice. I've kept the gray and blue color scheme because I think that looks quite nice. I've got the opener here, sell your course, add professionalism and engagement to your sales funnel with our 3D digital mock-up packages. So that looks fairly good. I took this from the Fiverr sellers page, which was... I'll pull it up. So that was that photo and I just removed the background in Photoshop and added that in there. So that looks quite nice. Accelerate sales, propel growth, just a few little paragraphs here. I've got some three features, affordable, lightning fast, premium quality. I have some examples here. So mock up any device. Here at Mockup Kings, we have a wide range of device choices, including iPhone, iPad, MacBook, iMac, and more. It's a pretty basic sales funnel where it just shares all the features of the product and tries to build the customer's desire to purchase. So that's sort of what we've been going for here. A new way to display, say goodbye to your boring, dull sales funnel, say hello to professionalism. So I've got some more examples here. I just mocked those up on Photoshop myself. So I took them from the Fiverr. These are all from this page, and then I just cropped them out. And we've got the pricing plan here. So I have the starter kit for $80, which gives you one mock-up. So so if someone was to buy that, that would literally just give them one book or one phone. So most probably won't purchase that because it's not enough. So the mega bundle is probably gonna be the most popular. So I've highlighted that in red as well. So that's 149 and it gives you three mockups, which is pretty standard, pretty basic. It's what most people are gonna really want. And then the pro bundle for 299 is pretty much the full gallery of all the mockups that our Fiverr seller offers. So that gives them the full package for 299. And then at the end here, we have the 30 days money back guarantee just to try and secure that desire and really build trust. And that's it for the sales funnel. So it was fairly basic. It took around two hours, which isn't too intense, but I think the color scheme and everything looks quite professional. So I think I am quite happy with the way this has turned out. Alrighty, let's head back into the office and wrap this up. <sighs> <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed episode 2 of the drop servicing challenge and took something away from what we did. For any of you who may be following the challenge, I wish you the best of luck and remember to do your niche research so you don't get into something that's too competitive. Next episode, we're going to be getting into Google Ads, which is where the real fun begins. This is when we're going to start generating some real traffic and hopefully some revenue with that as well. If you have a question about the challenge or drop shipping or anything in general, send me a DM on Instagram at EcomBaxter. I reply to every single DM and love talking to you guys. So if you have a question, DM me. Also, if there's a particular video you want to see me create, go ahead and drop a comment down below. I read all of those as well. For now, that's the end of the video, but I'll see you back in episode three. Peace. Hello. 
God of fake gurus here. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Before you go though, Baxter was wondering if you could like the video and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to turn notifications on. Now, time to go ride in my rented Lamborghini. Bye.